Since it's been a few months from the last time I did a neon photo manipulation image, I felt the need to come back and dive deeper into this style. Last month, I had the pleasure to participate in Emania's Warrior Challenge and actually placed in the top 3, which was a big achievement for me. A few days ago, he announced a new challenge and I did not hesitate to try my best in creating my entry. For this contest, he provided us with some assets to work with, one being this UFO that comes in three angles, from which I picked one and placed it into Photoshop, and the second image is this card that I also drop it into my composition. I highly recommend to check out his channel, he is one of the best artists out there and I personally learned and I'm still learning a lot from him. But without further ado, let's open Photoshop. The first thing I did was to cut out the car with a pen tool and transform it into a flying object. I decided to replace the roof, since the whole idea of this image is from another world, I had to create a story and the car wasn't the right choice. I did this with the class and I picked this one from the space station which fits nicely and I also added a small alien to spice things a bit. To make the car look more futuristic, I placed the turbo on the back. I also used the turbojet engine for the wheels and added some shadows to them. The most interesting thing of this edit is the environment itself, which was the most difficult part. As you can see, I got different sky images and blend them together by masking them using the color balance adjustment layers and lowering the brightness. The secret to create a good futuristic cyberpunk image is to add buildings that have a dark tone, in this case a dark blue, and then use the light from other night city images. If you can blend them, it will work. And the exact same thing happened here, I used a solid color adjustment layer and just lowered the fill to around 35%. Later, I will add the light and you will see how much of a difference it makes. To create this pad that you see, I used a picture of a building which had the best angle for my composition. I placed on top of it an actual road, warp it until I was happy and use content aware fill so I can extend it all the way to the right. Even if there will be a big change in this video that you can see in a few minutes, the idea is the same. I have this city image to which I apply what I said earlier, I change the color to a dark blue and lower the brightness. To make the city look as it is from a sci-fi scene, I cut out some places of the image. For me, it feels that it is part of the concept I want to create. At this point, I add different buildings and blend them as usual, nothing special, it's a repetitive step. Now for the light source, every city image used will be set on linear dodge add or color dodge because I need to get the most out of the light that comes from every apartment. This is the step that I talked about earlier and if you add a solid color that is also set on linear dodge add, which of course I will also do, you'll have a great light source. For me, overlays are extremely important. As you can see, this image will also add light rays and I don't have to do that myself. And besides that, it adds light as well. For the parapet, I created two separate solid colors with a shape made using the pen tool and a second row underneath it, this time with a blue color set on color dodge.
Okay, it might look weird, but I can explain. The image that you see in the left differs a lot from the one in the right. As I kept editing, I found better city images and I decided to change them. Excepting the road, this city image and the building in the left, I replaced everything. I did every single thing I said until this moment, so it was no point in going all over again and show you. It's exactly the same, but with different pictures. And on top of that, I lowered the brightness of the road and made the median strip of vibrant orange. 